Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fordron Academy. My name is Harshwats and today I will help you in understanding report menu in Power BI service. Now let's go further and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. So in this video we will particularly talk about three points. In the first point we will cover how does the report interface work. And in the second part I will tell you how does the reading view and edit report function work in Power BI service. And thirdly we will cover and tell you about how to create a dashboard in Power BI service. And now to understand everything we have to go into Power BI service itself and look how all these things work. Now we are in Microsoft Edge which is an internet browser and particularly in a Power BI service interface. So this is a Power BI service and if you want to learn more about the Power BI service interface you can go to my previous video and see how does this interface interact. Now let's get back to the question of the video about the report interface. First of all where I will find the report menu that you will find in my workspace when you expand your workspace you will see dashboard reports workbook and data sets in my previous video i have covered and talked about the data sets now i will talk about the report in the report menu there are two things that i have one a report total which i have created in my previous video i will click on that and go into it and after a few minutes i will go into another file of the report section so this is how the report view is looking like so we have to first discuss about the interface now we will start from the upper file from the report menu so this is an upper file which have several options from the file view edit report reload pin a live page share first of all i will cover them one by one first we will cover a file section when you click on it you will see several options in the first you will see save as option then second is embedded third is embedded in sharepoint online and third you will find a published to web so these are the things you will find in the report section in a file menu after that we will go into a view section when you click on a view you will see a several type of views that are available to you First you will see a fit to page then after that fit to width actual size. So these are the things that you will use for the adjustment of the page. Now after the view option we will talk about the most important expression available in a report view that is edit report. Earlier we have seen in a data set that we have created these two reports. That means in a report menu also if you want to make any changes in your report you want to do certain thing you want to do that how you do that for that you have to click on a edit report that means when you click on it you will see certain changes that has happened in your interface because now the visualization is introduced and views introduced uh, sorry fields is introduced that means all the columns that will be used to creating a new visualization is now available to us so I will show you how you will create one so first of all I will decrease the size of the earlier visualization and uh, just introduce a new visualization which can be a line chart or any chart you want after that we will go into the field section that I've told you can be used to create a new visualization because this is a basic data set that we have created in our Power BI desktop. Do remember certain things while working on a Power BI service we are just creating a report. We haven't touched our data sets or we cannot do that in Power BI service. Only you can create a report. It is only possible if you have successfully contemplated with your data set. That means if your data set is great and good to go, then only you will create a visualization in Power BI service. But only in Power BI desktop you can play with data set. That's why Power BI desktop is itself one of the most important thing. And in my previous videos, I have covered almost every part of Power BI desktop itself. Now let's make this visualization. I will drop the population female into values. Uh, again drag it into the value section. After that I need year that I will drag into access. That means female population per year. 
so now we have created a new visualization that is how you will create a visualization in report interface or you can say in a report menu after that i have created a visualization now i want to go back to the reading view because i do not want to make any more changes in my visualization after that i will click on a reading view when you click on a reading view you will see there is one dialog box that opens up that asks you would you like to save changes to this report that you know i have created a new visualization so surely i want to save something so i will click on a save and it will take a few seconds now you will see the report has been saved after that if you want to filter something you can do in reading view also like in a year wise specific if you want to do something you can do here but so after the edit report we will move on to another expression that is expand when you click on it you will see there are several options that are available to you that is drill up drill down we have covered almost every part of this expression in my previous video and you can see how does this hierarchy work now we will move on to another expression that is refresh that will refresh your page like click on it certainly you won't see any changes for now because i haven't make any changes now another expression that is the most important and most critical in report interface is pin a live page so i will cover it in few seconds first of all i will cover the other things then you can use a share to teams that is microsoft Teams. you can directly share it there there's another option that is available to you show the comment pane that means if you share with anyone and if you want to comment with certain things you can do that also now bookmark is available after that these are the things that are available to you that is view related favorites and share after that when i click on this you can also generate a qr code for this and if someone click on it it will be directed toward this page now we will get back to the most important as i have said you about the critical thing in a report interface that is pin a live page so what is it like when i have introduced to power bi service i told you about the four processes that is in my workspace that is dashboard reports workbook and data sets out of all these four things i covered the data sets and reports so i hope you know that it is not one of them it can be workbook or it can be dashboard but we can rule out the workbook because it is generally excel now we are only left with a dashboard that means if you pin a live page it will be changed into a dashboard like if you have certain and mostly 15 20 pages and if you want to only show particular one visualization like in the only same page if i have create more than 15 visualization for particularly this page we have three visualization i only want this visualization to be reported in my dashboard or i want out of 20 pages only one page to be view in my dashboard then you will use pin a live page when i click on it for particularly i will tell you both of them how you will pin a particularly one visualization and how you will pin the whole page first of all i will tell you how to pin whole page so for particularly uh, pinning the whole page you just have to click on a pin a live page when you click on it it will ask you if you want a same dashboard or a new dashboard i certainly want a new dashboard just you have to give the name i will give it the name total report after that click on pin live now you will see pin to dashboard then you will click on a pin go to dashboard directly from here or you can also create a phone view so in a dashboard now you will see there are two files now when i click on a total report we will have the visualization like this and if you want to ask a question about your data you can write here because it is completely like now this is the finalized version this is something that is the epitome of our data set now we will go again back to the report now we have three things now you cannot change anything in a 
dashboard because this is not a place where you want to do modification this is the epitome of your data set that you have generally used to show someone else that what your data represents now we will again go back to the report section and again click on the report total like i have told you previously around 50 to 20 seconds ago in which i have told you that we can pin hold the page and pin a particularly one visualization also so uh, just click on got it after now I want to pin only one visualization then how can I do that for that you just have to click on a visualization which you want to pin and in here you will see a pin visual option when you click on it again you will see the same option that I have been shown by the power bi service when I click on a pin a live page option in the above bar so again I will click a new dashboard again report sorry for the typo uh, again report pie chart just click on pin now you will see in a dashboard we have now three files project population report pie chart and total report now I will click on a report pie chart because I have just used or pinned the one visualization now you can see the one visualization is available in your dashboard when I again show you now I have pinned like I have told you about pinning the whole page for particularly one image this is how you will pin your so this is how you will create your dashboard and pin your visualization in report section now I will again go back to the report view so I hope I have covered every part of the report interface that you want to learn and if you want any filters to do certainly you can do from the right hand section you just have to click on it after that for whatever you want to filter for you can do that from here just a reminder I want to tell you that you can make changes in a report that means you can make changes or make a new visualization in power bi service but certainly you cannot play with your data set that you have to create in power bi desktop itself you cannot amend any changes in your data set so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day